Right then, so today we're going to test out this DYU T1 little electric bike. Um, but this time we're not going to go on any flat ground or rough terrain. We're actually going to take this bike up a mountain. Yep, that's right, up a mountain. So we're going all the way uphill on this bike to see if it can do it. And at the top of this mountain there's a dam there, so it'd be nice to take some pictures on the way and uh, see how this little bike performs. Yep, like I said, this is the DYU T1. Um, a few weeks ago I reviewed the DYU C1 city bike, which was a really good bike. And uh, yeah, what I like about this bike, it's small, the body frame's really small, uh, it folds up small, stick it in a boot and off you go. Uh, that's what I like about it. So uh, let's get going and uh, before we get going, I'll leave you the uh, little bit about the bike just a bit of information. drone here and uh, I'm keeping my cameras in here gonna need these for the front so the idea today is to get up to the dam at the top um, on this e-bike the DYU T1. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's all uphill. Uh, this is a lighter bike, but I've got a lot of gear on it, a lot of equipment. So, we'll uh, see what it's like getting up the hills. Um, it's got a 250 watt motor on the back. Ooh, what happened there? Yeah, so it's got a 250 watt motor on the back and uh oh, I think the noise was the uh Mudgad.
Oh, that's better. Uh, the noise was the uh, mud guard pressing on the tyre. So it uh, seems okay now. Woo! Bit of a workout, this. I've got to say, <laughs> pretty hard work getting up this hill. Um, obviously the motor's not strong enough to push me up this hill with my weight. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll just get around this corner. There'll be a little lake around this corner. Might be getting a uh, photo opportunity. Yeah. Oh God, this is so knackering in the morning. That's not knackering. There. Yeah. Between throw men anyway, so you only ruin the scan. Huh? And cat. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh dear, see. Yeah. Oh dear, see. Oh, right there. Still not a Kevin. No, I guess. Young, do you have So, <laughs> that was the warden. Uh, offered me a bottle of water. I'd left my bottle of water in the car. It was too big to uh, carry on this. So, uh, yeah, that was, that was good, that was kind. Right, first break. It is. Not as easy as I thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just want to get over here. Right, there's a little lake up here. Problem at the moment, that sun's right ahead and the light is harsh. Really harsh. gonna walk up to the top of this hill and uh, should be a nice lake up here. Ooh, I'm not good. So yeah, at the lake now, the bottom lake. Um, just gonna have a rest here. I think the light's too harsh for any photos.
managed to cap capture a couple of shots up here um, just on the side here um, I got a couple of shots there were some sheep in the foreground I like the fencing on the little hill there and I like the mountain on the right side of the frame and I think I'm not sure what that town is over there um, not too sure um, could be Rivlas, not too sure possibly no I don't think so that's on the other side no idea what it is. <laughs> that town is over there but on the far end you can see Penmon where Penmon Lighthouse and just behind me um, I took an image uh, looking down onto Moyle Elio and uh, you can see my bike there against the fence just thought I'd take an image over there so yeah just getting a bit of water then we're gonna head up and uh, try and get to the dam at the top which uh, is gonna be hard but I'm gonna enjoy coming down because it's gonna be all the way downhill but getting up there is gonna be a bit of a struggle So yeah, time's against me, I've got to get to work in a few hours. If I manage to get up this bloody hill, cattle grid. God, what a lovely day. Look at that for a view, absolutely beautiful. So yeah, what's different with this bike, it, uh, it doesn't have a LCD screen on here, so you don't know what you're doing really. You've only got this button on the uh, left here, which is low to high, and it's really more pedal assist. There's a thrum, 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 thumb throttle on it, uh, just to help you a little bit. But do you know what? For someone lighter and uh, wants to travel on terrains like this, especially doing photography, uh, this would be great. <coughs> Unfortunately, there's no suspension uh, on this bike. There's no front suspension, but the back seat's got like a spring on it, some sort of suspension, which is really good. But uh, if I wanted to go off-road with this, uh, I don't think it'd be any good, to be honest. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to zooming down this bloody hill. Once I get up there. So we uh, just got off the bank on the side of the road here just because we got the sun behind me 
and I'm looking at the lake straight on and it looks really, really nice. Um, so what I've done here, just in the foreground here, you've got this golden sort of grass, golden green grass. I put that in the foreground and just ahead of it there, you've got some nice rocks with this sort of old fence sticking out and just a lot of rocks just going round the edge of the frame on the right side. Lovely blue colour on the lake and this cliff edge going down here. And right over there in the distance, you can see the hills of Moyalelio and Anglesey right in the background. And uh, you can actually see the ship docked in Hollyhead right at the far end there. So I thought this would be a nice image. Coming up there, that bloody last. That was quite hard work getting up here. Whew. So we're now up at Marchlimaur Dam, right at the top. Um, I'm going to start taking images of this dam while I'm up here. Um, fair due to the uh, DYU T1 bike. Uh, got me up here pretty good considering it was carrying 18 stone plus all the baggage. Uh, it did fairly well, fair play. And I'm looking forward to heading down on it. So while I'm up here, I'm going to take a couple of images of the dam. Um, I like the shot I've got here. Uh, behind me. I like the way the dam curves around the frame here. I like that little uh, tied sort of post there uh, Make a nice image. So yeah, I'll take an image of this here Then I'll just head up the hill and see if I can get one more shot from above the uh, tops there uh, while we're here Absolutely bloody stunning. 
and a nice day for it too. So I'm going to get my second shot from this point over here um, of Archley Mauer up here. Uh, just beautiful, absolutely stunning. So yeah, so I've got two images here I'll put up and uh, that's it. Uh, that's what I wanted to do today was test that DYU T1 for getting up here. Uh, because the terrain's nice and smooth, it's concrete all the way. I don't think the bike would be good for any off-road sort of uh, activities because it's got no suspension on it and the wheels are a bit on the small side and I think it'd need a bit of thicker tyres to go off-road. But if it had them, if it had a full suspension, tyres a bit thicker and same frame size body, uh, it would be perfect uh, for just going anywhere but as it is it's a bloody beautiful bike i like the way the frame it's it looks different uh it got me up here and uh yeah if you wanted to commute around areas where the road was pretty flat this would be just perfect it fits in the car just beautiful so i'm going to take these images put them up and then love the ride all the way down it's going to be good So my final thoughts on this e-bike, well it did the job, it took me up the hill, uh, even though it's a 250 watt motor, um, I'm pretty heavy, like I said I was 18 stone, so a bit of weight on that bike carrying me and my camera gear, but it did well, it got me up there, I had to pedal all the way, there were some flat bits where it would take me just on the thumb throttle, but it performed okay, it really was okay, um, gotta stop saying okay. But I wouldn't advise this for any off-road um, terrain. Uh, I don't think it'd be a suitable bike for that. But if you're thinking of sipping around on flat ground on the roads, uh, this would be great. Uh, it was really good that I could get it out of the car, fold it. I could, you know, it was light enough to get over the gate. Although it might be a bit on the heavy side for women. But either way, it was a nice light bike. It performed well. It got me up there. So yeah, good little bike. Uh, like I said, 
really recommend it well built um, I enjoyed it anyway but uh, for me I'm a bit bit on the big side so anybody heavy like me I wouldn't recommend it and definitely not for off-roads because there's no suspension on it but yeah I was happy with it had fun with it so yeah if you're looking for something to get you from A to B on the flats this might be your lucky this might be the bike for you until next time thanks for watching bye